Mucus is the fluid secreted by the airways, bronchia, trachea, and lungs. Sputum is mucus that is coughed up from the lower airways. With naked eye inspection if sputum is yellow or greenish it indicates existence of infection. Sometimes it can have changed color without infection, for example during allergic reactions. The sputum an analytical approach to investigate the cellular and acellular components expelled from the patient's upper respiratory tract. Sputum collection is simple procedure. For more precise analysis sputum should collect early morning, deep cough sputum. At first, the patients need to rinse out the mouth with clear water for 10 to 15 seconds to eliminate any contaminants in the oral cavity. After expelling saliva, the patients then breathe in deeply three times to cough at two minutes intervals until bringing up some sputum. The sputum is then released in a sterile well-closed container provided by the medical professionals to the patient. Clear and runny samples are not acceptable for further microscopic or microbiological studies. In some settings, the procedure can be repeated until 10 to 20 milliliters of sputum sample has been collected. If the patient leaves the specimen in the refrigerator after collection, there is often a tolerance range, which may run well over 24 hours. In tuberculosis, TB, three sputum samples must be collected on three consecutive days and be returned to the clinical lab each day. In particular, patients with suspicion of miliary tuberculosis and or tuberculous pleural effusion are often targeted using this adjuvant procedure. In such settings, the patient inhales nebulized hypertonic saline solution to liquefy airway secretions. 20 ml 3% hypertonic saline solution injected into the nebulizer cup filled with water. Moreover, the patients wear the nebulizer cup to cover the face and nose after sitting in an upright position. The patients inhale and exhale through the mouthpiece. An expectorate saliva into an emesis bowl and expectorate sputum coughed up are collected into a sterile well-closed container. The medical staff turns on the nebulizer device to allow the patient to inhale the hypertonic mist for approximately five minutes. Then the patients take several deep breaths before attempting to cough. Bronchoscopy is a procedure used to investigate the throat and airway through a thin viewing camera. It is also used to collect the sputum samples in some special situations such as a persistent infection, cough, or something unusual seen on clinical laboratory tests or chest x-rays. Clinical diagnostic sputum tests aim to detect the causes of lower respiratory tract infections and some other diseases. It also provides an efficacious tool for monitoring the effectiveness of clinical treatment. Sputum culture is the most common test needed to be performed when the patient has pneumonia. It is used to identify the bacteria or fungi causing the airways or lung infection. Sputum smear microscopy is the initial step taken in laboratory sputum analysis. It is a fast and inexpensive technique, precisely, in resource-limited settings. Gram stain is used to differentiate bacteria into two broad groups, gram-positive and gram-negative microorganisms. When the physician suspects that the patient may have TB, acid fast bacilli, AFB, stain testing must be performed. TB is a lung infection disease caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. The Grococcomoris methenamine silver stain, GMS, is a standard staining method used to detect fungal microorganisms. Biochemical tests of bacterial growth are the next step to perform to recognize the bacteria. The most common pathogens detected with a sputum culture are bacteria such as Streptococcus pneumoniae, Haemophilus influenzae, Staphylococcus aureus, and Klebsiella species. People with chronic bronchitis on exacerbations can have relatively normal sputum or usual bacterial flora isolated in sputum cultures. And half of people with copped and chronic bronchitis can have Streptococcus pneumoniae, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Escherichia coli. Escherichia coli is highly resistant bacteria against many antibiotics, 